In this video, I'm going to show how the end of stroke switch works on a pinball machine. Um, this is the flipper coil. And these here lead wires, one side is uh, high voltage and one side is low voltage. When you first flip the flipper with the flipper button, you're going to get high voltage. That's going to hit the ball really hard. And when you hold the flipper button in, it's going to switch over to low voltage so that you don't burn the coil up or the coil doesn't get too hot. The machine knows that you're holding the flipper button in because when the flipper flips, here's the flipper, the coil energizes and these two contacts come together. When those contacts are together, you're going to lose your high voltage. And you're just going to have low voltage. So when you first flip, you get high voltage, and now if you hold the flipper button in, you're going to have low voltage. When you let go, you have no power. So if these are too far apart, and you flip the flipper, and they don't come together, then you're going to have high voltage the entire time. If for some reason these are stuck together, even when you're not flipping the flipper, you're always going to have low voltage because the machine is going to think that the flipper is in the up position. So adjusting this um, to put them closer together or further apart so that they're apart when the flipper is not flipped and touching when the flipper is flipped will get you the right amount of voltage for, for your machine. 